heat balance in the boiler energy release due to combustion of coal is cv so we are burning the coal here if the percentage of ash then cv equals to cv into 1 minus percentage of ash kilojoule per kg of coal in the in this one we are forming the steam from this one the water will enter and heat will receive from the coal that is a flue gases so what is going to steam so some quantity of this heat is absorbed in forming the steam so energy utilized to form the steam will be mass of steam upon mass of coal into h1 minus h2 is kilojoules per kg of coal let's say equation number 2 so out of this heat release this is utilized properly to form the steam rest is wasted to burn the coal we are supplying the air from this side when the coal and air is burned flue gases are formed the, the hot flue gases will carry some amount of energy the flue gas basically consists of two parts one is called as dry flue glass dry flue gas and the second is called as steam form due to moisture in the coal your coal has certain moisture that will get vaporized and it will be steam formed in the flue gases so flue gas has two content one is dry flue gas and other is steam form let tg is the temperature of the flue gas and t atmosphere is the temperature of surrounding to the boiler room or it is also called as boiler room temperature then heat carried by the flue gas is mass of dry flue gas multiplied by mass of coal multiplied by cp into tg minus t atmospheric where tg is the flue gas and t atmospheric is atmospheric temperature heat carried by steam due to moisture formation is m dot h2o we already done this equation twice h2 plus o2 equal to twice h2o so using that you can calculate mass flow rate of the mass of steam form in the coal h1 dash and h2 dash let define h1 dash and h2 h1 dash is the enthalpy of steam at atmospheric pressure and the flue gas at temperature tg here the flue gas the pressure is remain same and the temperature of steam and temperature of dry flue gas remain same so we have a steam at this condition with the pressure equal to atmospheric and flue gas temperature equal to tg this since this steam is superheated so for superheated steam h1 dash equal to hg plus cp soup into T soup, T soup is same as the flue gas temperature minus T sach at atmospheric pressure. H2 dash, here when we are supplying the coal, the moisture in the form of a liquid, so enthalpy of steam or moisture at boiler room temperature is simply given by HF. So H2 dash will be equals to HF at room temperature and H1 dash equal to HG plus CP soup TG minus T sach at 1.01325. So we can calculate the heat, heat on 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. So this is the heat supplied and these are the heat utilized. In the coal, the ash may contain certain unburned amount of coal and therefore certain coal will not burn and directly collect into ash. So let m dot is, uh, m, let this unburned coal is flow rate with m dot unburned of coal. So heat loss due to unburned coal in ash is mass flow rate of unburned coal multiplied by calorific value of unburned coal divided by mass of coal. So this is the only heat input that is equation number 1, 2 is utilized, 3, 4, 5 they are the wasted and so for heat balance the remaining heat we will say is a heat loss due to radiation or convection by any means is 1 minus rest of all equation that is 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5.